What's up, y'all? Welcome to a very special episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In this episode, Kirby is going to take on the final boss of the game, the evil four-headed dragon, Landia. And actually, that sounds kind of scary. I don't know if I'm up for this. But luckily for me, and luckily for Kirby, I have a friend who knows a thing or two about slaying dragons because she's doing a Let's Play of Skyrim on her channel right now, and it's amazing. You guys should all definitely check that out, but you probably need to know who I'm talking about before you run over to your channel like, Nintendo OP, who are you talking about? So, Mr. Guest, why don't you reveal yourself to the folks at home? It's she plays it here! Yes, she plays it here, and I gotta say, I'm just so thankful that we're finally able to do this, because it's been like Murphy's Law. If there's something that could go wrong to make us not record, it went wrong. Yes, monkeys, pillow fighting, evil headsets breaking, and all the works. But you oh my god, it's so cute! I'm sure that's what every final boss loves to hear a girl say. <laughs> oh, aren't you just so adorable? Were they going for intimidating? Because <laughs> they failed. <laughs> and it looks like a little girl, or is it got a little crown? <laughs> it does. It's a dress up pretty princess dragon. <laughs> pretty princess dragon. Oh, and look at the pink horns. Nothing says badass like pink horns. Well, you're you're raping her with your little cowboy hat. <laughs> hey, she's the one who mentioned whips, and we have a safe word, so it's cool. <laughs> no, I wish it's not flying around, though. Spyro wannabe! <laughs> totally. It's total Spyro ripoff. You know what I'm picturing? I'm picturing, like, each of the little heads has, like, the same name. It's all, like, this cutie name. They're like, hi, we're the Jennifers, and we all wear matching outfits. Yay! The twins. How do they decide who wears what? I guess probably they have to like defer to the one with the crown. She's probably like the head Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. I wonder what they have like... I mean, what is this, summer wear? Yeah, it's the new summer dragon line at Forever 21. Go get it now. <laughs> <laughs> How pathetic is this boss where we're joking around about its outfits? Like compared to who, what you're fighting in Skyrim, this dragon must be a joke. No, no, look at it. Like, she, she's epic. Look at her. Oh, wow, she's... She's mad, she's going around. Oh wait, this is not a four-headed dragon. It's four little baby dragons. Aw, they were just hugging each other. Wow, now it's even less intimidating than it was before. <laughs> I was feeling good about myself. I was like, yeah, I'm a dragon slayer, but now I'm just fighting fucking baby dragons. That's nothing to be proud of. Well, if it makes you feel any better, the dragons in Skyrim really aren't all that intimidating either. Yeah, but you never fight baby dragons in Skyrim. You're always taking down these big, huge, epic beasts. <laughs> Well, they're big, but they're easy to kill. <laughs> Kirby sort of has some of the same abilities like they have in Skyrim. Like, his, like, microphone Kirby ability is kind of like the shout in Skyrim. Okay, alright. I think Kirby could hang for at least a little while in Skyrim. <laughs> I'm sure he'd do fine. Oh, no! You killed them all. How did that work? I don't know. <laughs> you killed one and they all died. <laughs> like, we killed one and the rest died of a broken heart. Aw. Aw. Okay, enough about that. No time for sadness. Let's move on. We have to celebrate because we just slayed the dragon. We won the game. And who's this coming to greet us? Oh, it's Maglor. You want to read his lines? Very well. Bravo, Kirby. You all truly earned your reputation as a hero. Your help defeating Landia was invaluable. Well, if you want to thank us, you could give us some candy. Ah, at long last, it's mine. He's like way too into that crown. Look at him. The source of limitless power, the Master Crown! Oh, is this like the final boss now? I don't know, I thought this guy was on our side. Was he turning evil all of a sudden? Obtaining this crown has been my ultimate all along! <laughs> Look at King Tiddy's face. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Oh man. I fought Landia by myself and lost, so I fled to Planet Popstar. That's when the thought struck me. I could have you defeat Landia for me, a stroke of genius, I know. What a jerk, he used us this whole time. You even helped me repair my star cutter. I really did appreciate the help. Anyway, mwahaha, the time has come for your planet. No, the time has come for the entire universe to bow down to me. And for being such a big help in all this, your planet gets to go first. Prepare to bow, pop star. Welcome to your new, o or welcome your new overlord. <laughs> DDD is still on the stage. Shy. I can't get over that. Now what's going on? The oh, the big dragon! The dragon's gonna eat Kirby. Oh wait, he's not eating us. He's flipping it on his back, and we can ride this dragon. Oh yeah. Yes, dragon just wants to help you. Dragon is so cool. I feel bad about smacking it around with the whip earlier. <laughs> Let's rock. 
Yeah, let's do this. This would be so cool if you had, like, dragons in real life. Like, you and all your friends just ride around on dragons cruising the town. Yes, it would. So we got four party members. We had four dragons. It makes sense. Just enough. <laughs> Where exactly did we just disappear off to? Level 8, another dimension. We get to do one of these little shooter things. I love these type of games, even though I'm not any good at them. I'm gonna try, though. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of, um... Oh, what is that game? I can't even remember. You know what this reminds me of? Remember that robot unicorn game that you showed me that one night over Skype? Oh, yes! I was going to do that for a challenge on my channel before. <laughs> I was going to do that too, but I could never get past like the first area of it. Hopefully I'll do better this time. The game was crazy though. The music, you know? <laughs> this one's not too bad. Hope we get through it. But this level does not have cool music like Robot Unicorn. Oh yeah, that's true. But that game, or that music, it was supposed to be distracting. It was distracting, totally. Yeah. You blame it on the music, that's why I lost. <laughs> yeah, that, that's its purpose, you know, you blame it on the music and say, you know, I'm, I, I don't... Bad, I just blame it, I'll, it's the music's fault! Yeah, that game and Techno Kitty, those are both like so trippy. I wish both of those were like, <laughs> yes. come to the Nintendo was on the Xbox. Yeah, I think Techno Kitty's on the Xbox. Yeah, I've only seen people play it, never actually played it myself. We're both missing out. I hate the console exclusive thing. It's the worst. That's why, I mean, I need to get a Wii so I can actually challenge challenging you guys. Ew. You could be a Nintendo fangirl, like the rest of us here on Nimbus. <laughs> but I've always been a PS3 fangirl. Oh. That's okay. Games are games. Yes. But I will own a Wii and a Nintendo 3DS. Oh, that, there you go. Then it'd be cool. Miyamoto will give you a high five. Yay! He'll be like, welcome to the Nintendo <laughs> Club. You are now my slave. Like, you held out for a long time, but we knew you would get you. Oh, what was oh that? no, no! That was close. I almost got squished and died. They look like little Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, they do. Oh, I love that game. It's a great series. No! Don't get squished it. I'm trying not to get squished it over here. <laughs> what is that thing? That's big. It's related to Porygon. Oh, oh yeah? I'll, yes. I'll take your word on that it's one. It's Porygon's third cousin's mother. Mother's brother's in law, distant uh, neighbor of. <laughs> yeah. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, totally. It's somewhere in there. Alright, so, oh, what are we gonna have to find out? There's that double crosser. Hey! He stole Axel's chakrams! Maybe he's not, like, really evil. Maybe he's just, like, a cosplayer. Like, that's why he wanted the crown. Like, first he stole Axel's chakrams, and then he stole Landia's crown. Oh, and there's the ship! The lower space critter that we've been repairing this entire game, and now the ship's turning against us? Jeez! Some people are ungrateful. We spent this entire game repairing this stupid ship, and now he's gonna send us against us. We should have never repaired the missile capabilities. <laughs> I knew that was a mistake. Ow. Ouch. Aw, how mean. So mean. All that work you do for it has no gratitude whatsoever. Oh, Kirby gets no respect. All those hours that I put in repairing this ship. Bastard, he doesn't even offer you a prize or even say, you know, well, I'll make you my second in command of the universe. Exactly. Not that, like, Kirby would have ever accepted such an offer, but you should at least make it. Yeah, I know. Selfish. Yeah, you gotta make the gesture. Come on, that's just good manners. Everybody knows that. Exactly. See, if I was an evil overlord that stole a crown and tricked my friends into helping me destroy my <laughs> worst enemy, but at least for them something. Like a quick death or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still gonna kill you, but it's gonna be quick and painless. Now you just stand there and it'll be all over before you know it. You know what you could give them? You could give them candy. Candy, yes. Candy is a must. They'd have candy before they died. I I'm not that evil. <laughs> That's nice of you. Or if you could combine <laughs> the two things, you can make death candy, poison candy. That'd be the best, right? It's a sweet way to die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> such a bad pun. But yeah, you could uh, have the candy dipped in poison, and it'd be so good that even though they knew it was killing them, they just couldn't stop eating. They'd be like, oh, I can't stop, even though I know I'm going to die. Yeah, that's, that's how you really need to poison your enemies. It's genius. Get them delicious candy. <laughs> delicious candy that makes you die. Oh, man. So sinister. 
The good thing is, now that we've been talking all crazy like this, we're never going to have to share candy with anybody again. Because even if we offer, we'll be like, hey, I got some candy over here. You want some of it? And nobody will accept it from <laughs> us anymore. We'll be like, no, I know what they do with their candy. It's poison candy. <laughs> uh, once again, he's doing a sports spiel, barrel roll, tackle. Oh, this is kind of new. And just die. He only has a little bit of HP left. Please die. There we go. All right. So the ship is going <gasps> down. It's smoking. All right. Good rinse, we don't have to see you anymore. Now it's time to take on- Oh, did he just run away again? What a wuss. Aw, the little pansy. We're gonna go after him though, because we got dragons. Yay! And dragons rock everything. They do, and we also have big mallets and spears and cool swords. <laughs> Are there lions and tigers and bears too? That's in the sequel, don't Aww. give it away. <laughs> I can't wait for the sequel! I want it now! The sequel's gonna be the best thing ever, alright? So, oh, what did he just throw at us? Oh, we're just gonna swing that right back at him. <laughs> God, I want one of those dragons. They're so adorable. I want one, too. That'd be the best. I will love it and cherish it forever and feed it little, um, Kirby's. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't feed it Kirby. <laughs> we'll never win this game. I see how it is. But the Kirby looks like it tastes like taffy. He probably does. We're not going to find that out, though. Come on. Okay, so we landed in... It's like water that's on fire. This is a weird level design. I don't know. I like it, though. It looks cool. We're just going to stick with our whip. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw, <laughs> indeed. I like this background, though. It's like, uh, it's like abstract art or something like that. This is pretty stylish. I like a room like this. Well, he's like the ultimate source of evil, so uh, he's got to have the ultimate shiny, bright ground in which you fight on. I thought at first this was going to be like something that we were going to have to like constantly float because it looks like water like we might sink into it but luckily for us it's pretty <laughs> solid. Yeah I mean he as an evil villain he's got to give you some you know slack he can't just you know make that wispy clouds and let you fall to your doom. Well that's what I would do. Oh so sinister but Kirby can fly anyway so it wouldn't be a big deal. Oh that is true. <laughs> yes but Kirby can't attack while he's flying. Or can he? I don't think he can, but well, that's a good point. Yeah, Kirby wouldn't be able to use his whip when he's flying in midair because he can't, like, walk and chew gum at the same time. Ooh, <laughs> that, that's pretty cool. I like those colors right there. You know what would be really cool? Since Kirby can't fly and attack, what if we could, like, summon our dragon friend and then we could attack from the dragon? I know, right? The freaking dragon would be awesome. That would be amazing. All right, so what is he doing now? Drawing a pentagram? He's stuck in his head into the void. No. He's gonna like turn us into a hippie. Don't go into the 60s, Kirby. <laughs> Stay away. Too bad there's not Disco Kirby. He would fit well in that world. <laughs> Disco Kirby, to be. Oh, what's he doing now? I like this attack. This is like the uh, the what this is, is it? Kamehameha wave. Yeah, the Kamehameha. It's Goku's Kamehameha wave. <laughs> yeah, evil Goku slash Rayman. Plus the crown. Don't forget that. With a crown. Yeah, with the crown. Oh, and Axel's chakrams. Yes. So he's Raymond, Goku, Axel, Le Oh, wait, did you just get all of his life back? That is so not fair. You can't do stuff like that. Okay, what is he summoning he's at us now? throwing ninja stars at you. He's throwing some, some enemies at Oh, that looks like one of the uh, the special ability Kirby's. <gasps> oh, yeah. No, we're monster frame, Kirby. Uh, Kirby, are you aware that you're on fire? I think he knows about it. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's the just gist. checking, just checking. <laughs> yeah, you you want to make sure he's okay, but yeah, I think it's just his hat that's on okay. fire. Is Kirby summoning those flaming? Dragons? Yeah, Kirby's summoning like this this dragon of sorts. Looks like a Chinese dragon. Yeah, it's one of those Chinese dragons. Yeah, so we're taking <laughs> this guy out as long as we got the. Oh, he took it away from us. That was cheap. Aww, and now your Kirby is naked. <laughs> we can't be naked, Kirby. This game's rated E for everyone. <laughs> Put some clothes on, Kirby. At least a hat or something. Okay. Well, Donald Duck goes around and he doesn't wear pants. I don't want to get into the Disney characters. <laughs> They're always doing something weird. <laughs> That's why we're not playing Kingdom Hearts here. He does it for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. Oh, no. I don't want to lose my, my cool jester hat. No, don't lose the jester hat. That's freaking awesome hat. I know, it's the best hat in the game, and this is like the super size one, because I, I can do my own Kamehameha attack, so we're going to have like, which magical ball is the best oh. over here. We're going to see whose who's attack <laughs> is better. 
having a ball size contest now, or contest now? <laughs> oh no, we should probably leave that one alone. <laughs> if we, uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. If you want to keep your uh, <laughs> channel <laughs> for the uh, everyone. <laughs> yeah, we'll lose our e. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Cloud Sword. So now we can definitely hang in Skyrim. Look at oh Kirby's on getting all stylish, <laughs> spinning his sword around. Look how big his sword got. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna finish this full off. Come on, Kirby, you can do Come it. Come on, Kirby. Woo! Slice and dice. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this sword got Holy even cow. bigger. Look how big that Could is. Could it get bigger? Man, <laughs> Kirby just went full fledged Magnum on that. Oh jeez. Jeez. Why do I sense that? That's what she said. Joke there. <laughs> oh yeah. There, there's gonna be those in the comments, I'm sure. <laughs> so we did it. We we beat Magalore finally. Game is over and we can celebrate and throw the confetti. Everything's good. Woo! The world's that. I guess that's the. Oh no, 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 no. None of this. Oh, the boss had another life. Aww. <gasps> oh, he's back. Oh my gosh, it's the Heartless <laughs> Bunny! He's but why does he have his full life back? We didn't get our health back. That's so cheap. Aww. I can't believe you got all his life back though, that's so not fair. Evil. Juggling enemies, so let's go ahead and suck out- Oh, we'll give it to be Whip Kirby. So now, we're Jesse the Cowgirl. This should work pretty good. It worked good last time. Hope it works now. Yay, although you're missing your trusty steed. Did Jesse even have her own horse? I thought she just like used Woody's horse sometimes, maybe? I, I think she just rode on Bullseye. Yeah, she just stole his horse. She was like, Bullseye likes me better, and Woody was like, aw, darn. <laughs> Well, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, you gotta go with the chick, always. That's <laughs> <laughs> the way the world works. So poor Bullseye, or poor, poor Woody, he didn't have Bullseye. Yeah. He's like, that's my horse. And the, like the second a girl comes in the picture, Bullseye is like, nope, I'm ditching you, Woody. He's like, man, I thought we were bros. He's like, nope, not anymore. Jeez, that Kamehameha again. Ah, <gasps> he's a hacksaw. He's totally hacksaw. He's just annoying is what he is. Right, we gotta ask... We gotta stop hiding in the corner and start doing some real damage to this guy. All right, Kirby, let's get serious. I just can't get over his bunny ears, though, and I don't care if they're wings. No, those are definitely bunny ears. I'm with you on that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? He's. Oh no, oh. he's gonna crush you. I thought he was gonna crush us, but I guess he couldn't hold it. Aww. So. I guess he's making shapes. He he does geometry, and I guess that <laughs> bores Kirby to death. That's how we lose. He's an evil math teacher. It all makes sense now. No wonder he turned on you. Yeah, exactly. Because Kirby was like, I don't like math. I like art and <laughs> recess better. <laughs> Are you sure subject? <laughs> math is stupid. Uh, something like that. I don't know. All right. He's just warping all over the place, and he's using his star power. He's too fast for that's us. that's not... <clears throat> special. <laughs> no, he's not special. He's derpy. But how do we fight somebody who doesn't have arms? He has floating hands. Yes, like I said, like Rayman. Exactly like Rayman. He's got, oh, he's got two swords. <gasps> he's got two swords, but they're like really small. Like compared to our ultra sword. Yeah. Don't make us like have a sword off and show you the size of a real you sword, buddy. You can take him. I know you can. Yeah. I don't even need to pull out my sword now, but oh, I need my whip. I need something. Oh no! Yeah, you can't be naked, Kirby. <laughs> you can't be naked. Parents would not allow their children to play this game or watch. Kirby at least needs like a hat. A hat. <laughs> as long as you have like a hat and some socks, you're good to go. Then you're not naked. He wears socks too. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he's got like, I don't know if those are his socks or <laughs> those are red shoes. Or little boots. I think maybe they're like slippers or something like that. <laughs> Kirby's just chilling out, relaxing. Hey, I'd wear slippers to save the world. Who wouldn't? That'd be like the best thing. We've got to save the world and be comfortable at the same time. Holy. You'd be like, what? we got to save the world? I'll let me grab my robe and slippers. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, wait. Let me get my Snuggie. <laughs> Kirby's gonna have like a pink snuggie, no. and it's gonna have a cape on it. <laughs> the most badass thing ever, and totally comfortable. Oh, he's even using his stars to create Kamehameha waves. He is, but his aim is rubbish. Or it's because you're too evasive. Yeah, we're, we're way too evasive for this. He can't hit us. You'll never hit. Oh wait, that hit me. Wait, sorry. Your aim is great. I didn't mean it. <laughs> He's like, there's no insulting from you. Exactly. I gotta stop trash talking. Let's just finish him off. That better be it. I hope that was... 
If he comes back like a third time, that'd be ridiculous. Will he have a third form? Find out next time on Kirby. Oh, that's <laughs> what we should do. That'd be the most annoying thing ever to <laughs> stuff it right in the middle of the boss fight. Everybody would be like, no, you <laughs> jerks, let me know what happened. And he just, he just vaporized. Oh, sorry about that, bro. I think you finally took him down. I think we did. I think we, oh, okay, we're back. Everything went white for a second. I'm blind! Aw, so it's sparkly. They look, they look so pretty. They do, but what's going on here? Like, everything's cracking apart. It looks like the, <laughs> it looks like the universe is cracking. <laughs> oh, great, we broke the universe. Nice going, Kirby. You're supposed to save oh, it. God. Man, Jeez. you're supposed to save the freaking universe, not break it. Exactly. You know what this reminds me of? It's like the never-ending story where the nothing comes and it sucks up everything. Oh, that was a wonderful movie. We need a luck dragon. Where's a... Uh... Falcor! The Falcor, that's who it is. We kind of have Falcor, though. We have, like, never a, four little story. dragons. No. <laughs> well, now that song's gonna be stuck in my head all night. Cause of you. <laughs> my intention all along. <laughs> I bet it was. I bet like you were trying to work that in the whole episode, and then right at the end, you figured out a way to make that happen. <laughs> Wait, why is this ship back here? Who's driving that thing? It's it's a good ship now. But how does ships become good or evil in the first place? Well, when you have the evil Goku, Rayman, Heartless Man as a leader, then, uh, yeah, it's easy. I think it was the crown that made everything evil. We gotta destroy that <gasps> crown. Yes. But didn't you destroy it? Or did you not? Mm, sequel. We'll find out. Yeah. I love the trees in Dreamland. They're so weird looking. Yeah, the mountains look like cheese. Oh, they're delicious. There's a butterfly. Hey, you don't want to, like, land on Kirby's mouth. That's not <laughs> safe, dude. Get out of there. Poor butterfly. Kirby would have eaten it if he had been awake. He totally would have. There's Waddle D and we got Aww. Meta Knight looking adorable. Is King Dedede around? Did he survive? Oh, there's this butt. <laughs> nice King Dedede. He's so really adorable. Impressive. He's so cute. I die. Oh, he's really adorable. Look at that little flower he... in his head. Yeah, I was about oh. to say. He's a little baby. He's a Muppet baby. <laughs> Oh, they're in the Winnie the Pooh world. We're in the Hundred Acre Wood, and we still got the dragons and the ship. Yay! We we found all the parts, so we should be able to keep it. Wait, are they leaving? Aww. Don't, don't go. leave. They're going to Skyrim. Skyrim. They're like, I don't shoot down my dragons if you see them there. Take care of them. Oh, I guess I'll I'll keep an eye out for them. But if 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 I if thanks. They me no uh, no you know. those four baby dragons are off limits you can't accidentally shout at them or something <laughs> and make them fall <laughs> that's pretty strong if you just yell and a dragon just falls out of the sky <laughs> apparently you can do that i haven't gotten that far yet but you can actually summon the dragons to come down and kill things for you that's crazy if that happened to me if i yelled and the dragon fell down i'd have to like check my breath i'd be like what i eat <laughs> I swear I want to just nom on those mountains. They look so tasty. And it's the Skittles rainbow! Well, not Skittles, anything but that. Yes, the Skittles rainbow. I used to love Skittles, and then that, that one commercial, the, the freaking internet ruined my childhood. What? Remember that, uh, that one that, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skittles. Well, you can... I don't know. <laughs> I will never abandon the precious Skittles. I had almost forgotten about that commercial, too. And now you reminded me of it again. One of these days, though, I am going to forget. I'm going to be eating Skittles. I'm going to have, like, a big old mouthful of them. And then I'm going to see the image of that commercial. And I'm just going to, like, spit Skittles out everywhere. <laughs> People are going to be like, what are you doing, man? I'm just going to be like, don't ask. Just walk away. Slowly. Yeah. I'm just gonna put the bag down slowly and I'll like just like freak out around it and act like it's a bomb or something. <laughs> oh man. There's a uh What is that? I think is that a giant fish? It's a fish who like had too much to drink. He's just spitting out stuff everywhere. Oh <gasps> he stole Mario's one up. Well when you're a ninja, you can steal people's one ups. Okay, I guess it's okay. This guy has pretty cool hair, dude. Blonde mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi. He must be one of those uh, Japanese gangsters. He's like one of the Yakuza guys. He's one of the leaders of the tribe. Yeah, that, that's the right word. I don't know who any of these names are. I think like the only Japanese name I recognize is Miyamoto. There's a Makiko. Omoto. Not Miyamoto, but it's Omoto. It's, it's close. It's probably like a cousin. Ah, possibly. Maybe it's like his cousin that he got at the job and he like uh, got him to work in the mail room he, or something. Yeah, delivers the coffee. Yeah, he delivers the coffee. <laughs> Japanese people have the best names though. They have like names like Hero and stuff like that. I know, right? Their names are always so unique. You just walk around and be like, what's your name? My name is Hiro Akira <laughs> Yoshi. It's the most badass name ever. You walked up to somebody and they'd be like, oh, <laughs> that's your name. Excuse me. Get this guy some coffee. Stats. They slowly walk away. I don't know what it means slow walk. Slow walk. <laughs> uh, DD looks pretty tough right there. He doesn't look babyish. He's like got his hammer. He's looking fierce. Yeah, he would. And there's volcano. I, I wonder if that's the last volcano level, or is that? I think that was something else. I, there's the dragons. Yay! Aww. So you went on a long, tiring journey. Yes. How would you say that you, you were? What were your final impressions of this game? This game was fun. That's all I got. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have anything else. <laughs> the end. <laughs> it was no. good. I, I don't have any good adjectives. But I did like that, that twist at the end. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought we were going to fight a dragon, and then it turned out Magalore was the evil villain. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that. It caught me off guard. He must have thought that you were conspiring against him, and he would strike Ooh, first. Ooh, conspiracies on top of conspiracies. It's getting deep in here. Yes. Hey, there's the dragons and the ship. Aww. What are they, are they chasing I, something? Oh, they're chasing the boat. I think they're lost. You guys should ask for directions. They're probably guys. Yeah, they're like, we should have turned left at the, the Milky Way. Nobody wants to stop and ask, though. <laughs> They've been flying around like the entire credits. They're they're totally lost. Well, they have all of space to look at. I love that logo. It's so adorable. Oh, is he laying on eggs, or are those like naked puppies? I, I never have like figured <laughs> that out yet. He might be the only dog who can lay eggs. Yes. <laughs> He's got a half reptile. Wait, the end. Why is the the end a question mark? <gasps> no more bosses. No. Fresh. Oh, it's, it's just an extra mode. So, uh, we're not gonna play that though. We, oh. We've had a long video already. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was it. That's Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this long. It was a blast to do this episode with no you. No problem. It was completely worth all the hardships I went through just to get this co-commentary going. Yeah, because this was the last episode, so we had to go out with a bang. It had to be like one of the best episodes, so <laughs> I'm so glad you were able to be here, part of this with me. Make sure you guys show She Plays It some love. Check out her channel. And uh, anything you want to say before we got to go? Bye-bye! <laughs> See you guys later.